Welcome to the Pushing Buttons Challenge. Here, in this challenge, you're just supposed to make it so that if you click on the cat like it's a button in the game or some piece of software that you usually use, you click on a lot of buttons. So you can make this cat a button, and then when you click on it, it will say hello, like this. Hello. Make it say text if you want it to speak like I did, you can do that as well. All right, that's your challenge. If you feel like you got it, jump in. If you want to stay on for some hints, here come the hints. All right, I'm gonna make a new project. All right. So the key with the button is you need to detect if it's clicked. And that's something called an event. And in events, you notice have all these bumps on top, which means you don't connect them to any previous thing. They're triggered by an event, something that happens on the computer. So in the background, the Scratch program is listening to these type of events. They're listening, for example, if this sprite is clicked. And there's this little hook and you can make something do when you click. There's also events for like when a key is pressed, like a space, up arrow, down, and we'll get to that later. There's other events here, uh, which we'll talk about later. But for this one, the key is when sprite is clicked. That means when sprite is clicked, it will do whatever this is. So if I put in looks here and say, think, when I click on this, it'll think, hmm. I can put more than one thing. I could put multiple things. I could put a loop in here. I could do what I want. That's the basics of this challenge. Good luck and keep on scratching.